Hey y'all, welcome back to Sending with Ashley. I'm Ashley. Um, so, um, I guess this is a story time. I don't know, it's not important. If you're here for something important, this isn't it. Um, I'm just watching Netflix, and I've been watching Netflix since I got it. <laughs> um, I watch it Outlander, and the last time I watched Outlander was like back when it first came out, I think. Um, it was, I remember specifically, uh, it was 2014. Um, and I watched like the first couple episodes, but more specifically, I was obsessed with the theme song, um, the intro song. And I had just started my master's degree, and we were actually in Los Angeles. Um, and I bought myself a new computer with my grants. And that was one of the first songs that I put on my computer. Um, and so I'm watching it. I haven't really watched the show. Because uh, until now, I just have access to it. Um, but I think it's really fascinating to think about monarchies, is that what they're called? Um, it's interesting to see the history of the show, um, especially the history of women. Um, I'm enjoying the show in that aspect of like factual history aspect. Um, I understand it's a show, but I don't generally think about being under a man's rule. I'm a single mom, um, and I don't generally think about, you know, working at a castle. Uh, it's, so it's just an interesting show. Um, I think what's also interesting is to see the... Colonization happening in the show with the red coats, um, and I think it's a really easy way for folks to again understand these current times and the way that this happens um, colonization, genocide, uh, what we're experiencing as a collective right now. Um, I think media is a really good way and entertainment is a really good way to have the capacity to conceptualize real life um, and that's how I use it um, and that's what my course this fall will all be about too. Um, it's kind of our summer break uh, for a couple weeks. We don't start our next classes until August 21st and the party's over. <sighs> so. Excuse me. Niall and I are both chilling. It's really too hot to be outside. Um, and then in the afternoons, it's fucking storming. So we're doing a lot of chilling. Um, but I watched Virgin River. I also really like that one. I don't know. It's kind of fun to be joining Netflix when everyone else has had Netflix forever. Um, because I can binge watch, binge watch all the shows at once. I don't have to wait. Except for Virgin River now, I have to wait. Um, because now I'm addicted to that one. Uh, <laughs> and Outlander, I'm only, I'm still in the first season, so I have, uh, six seasons to go on that. But they're much longer than Virgin River. Oh, I flew with the Virgin River. That's a good show. I like it. Someone back at the RV park um, mentioned that show, and they were watching it. And so I was thinking, I'm like, I'm really glad I didn't watch this, like, three years ago. Because I wouldn't have been able to watch all of it at once. <laughs> um, what else have I watched? I don't know. Having Netflix is kind of um, fun. Uh, like I said, we don't really have to do anything else right now. We're chilling. Um... I think that I'm disassociating a lot from the world um, that's super real. I've spent the past 
wow, 10 months um, sharing stories from the Palestine, Palestinian genocide um, and other places in the world and that's kind of my role on the planet but what is really upsetting is how people just don't care um, people just don't care and I think that's one of the things that's interesting about these shows um, especially Virgin River the flashbacks of being in Iraq for the Marines it's pretty interesting to see the PTSD flashbacks um, that are presented in the show um, I also think it's interesting to see the flashbacks flash forwards I guess I would say in um, Outlander um, and I think it's really interesting to conceptualize time as something that for Outlander time being something that's not so concrete um, and I think that that's what that show is kind of doing for me um, it's also interesting to see her be from World War II era um, and then go back 200 years um, especially as a person watching the show in 2024 it's just kind of fascinating to think about especially women's roles in uh, the world you know um, I just wanted to share I'm just taking a break from the real world I guess and doing what most Americans do all the time and it comes with a little bit of guilt which is why I wanted to just talk about how I see these connections for real world what we're experiencing now and seeing now um, and just kind of also like it was war then it's war now it was war then it was war now especially with both of those shows that I've chosen to watch yesterday I watched a murder mystery and I really hate that I have to hate Adam Sandler because he's a Zionist like it's the reality you know I laughed I thought it was a funny movie but it was also just like why are we making movies about like multiple people dying as like a comedy like you know so I guess all this to say is if you are rot bed rotting and binge watching and Netflix and chilling or whatever um however you're consuming entertainment concerts oh, athletics football seasons coming up just you are able to enjoy them and also be critical of them and understand the role that they play to keep you pacified um and i think that's an important thing to know and understand and also reflect on for yourself um and stay grounded stay grounded in reality um enjoy you know whatever life you do have but also uh please acknowledge that a lot of people don't have any of that either right now um or ever um it's been a thing as long as colonization has been a thing um and i again think to use media as a case study to understand and conceptualize real life is really powerful and really also easy to do um, so, okay, have a good one.